Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So the students in the class were given each a set of numbers, letters, and asked to make words. And then the dot plot shows the number of students who made from one to seven words. So we have some missing gaps here. Let's just go ahead and fill those in here. There we go. So now we have a complete dot plot. And it shows some students made one word, all the way up to some students made seven words. So here's the interesting question. What fraction of the students in the class made five or more words? And you see all of our answer selections are fractions, and there's barely even numbers on this dot plot. Uh, the only numbers are down on the scale down on the bottom. There's just a whole bunch of dots. How in the world are we supposed to turn this into a fraction? Well, let's see if we can at least identify what we should be looking for. So we need a fraction of the students in the class made five or more words. So let's, since that's what we're looking for, that's going to be our numerator. Students with uh, that are greater than or equal to, because that's what five, five is greater than or more is equal to, so five or more equal to five words. And then our denominator is going to be our total number of students. All right, so that's going to be a little bit easier here because remember, the numerator in a fraction is always what you are looking for. It's sometimes the shaded part. It's the amount of a number left over, right? So in this case, we're looking for the number of students with five words, and the denominator is always going to be your total, right? So the fraction is going to be how many are you looking at out of how many are there all together? And so that is going to be our fraction. So you know what? Let's just take these dots and let's put some numbers on top. That's going to make it a little bit easier for us. I've got one, two, three, four. Each of these dots represent one. It's not like a pictograph to where each dot is going to represent two or three or four, anything like that. And we see here with this two, we've got five, which you can either count up five or you can say, you know what? That's kind of like that same line right there. So that's four and then add one is five. You could do that same thing with 3. 4 is down to 2. 5 is 1. 6 is 2. And then 7 is up to 3. All right, so we at least now have some numbers. And we can see, well, how many students did 5 or more? Well, that's this right here. This is the number of students I'm looking for. This is the greater than or equal to 5. 1, 2, or 3. Well, that's easy. That's 6. Okay? So now I need the total. So I need to add that 6, and I need to just add the rest of these numbers. I've got 4 and 5, 3 and 2. Let me see. So that's going to be an extra. That's 5, 10, 14. So add all that up. That's going to give me 14. So this is 14. This is 6, so we add those two together. We're going to get a total of 20. So look at that. I have found my answer. Six students had five or more words out of to 20 total, and that answer is not there. Because if you are a fifth grader and you're dealing with fractions, you know that most of the time your answer is not your answer because you need to reduce or simplify. So yes, we need to find the greatest common factor that's going to Divide into both of these numbers. They're both even, so when in doubt, just divide by twos. See what that does for you. Because remember, two over two is equal to one. So you're just dividing by one. That's why it's equivalent. It just looks different. Six divided by two, that's going to get you three. Twenty divided by two, that gets you ten. Three is prime. Three does not go to ten, which means you're done. And we have our answer. It is H, three tenths.